guys, this is Sun and Quad Van. I hope the day's finding you well. Today we just got in a 1997 E350 Chinook. And it's only got about 50,000 miles on it. There's a lot of vans like this out there that have been bought, used a couple times put a couple thousand miles on it and then they're put away. Life catches up to you and kids grow up and there's no more time to uh, be taking these things out for vacation. So people leave them in their garages and whatnot. And uh, you know, somebody buys it and, and gets it converted by us and repurposes it into a off-road camper. Here it is, the little truck that showed up here a uh, little while ago um, for a four-wheel drive conversion. It's a 97, 98 Chinook V10. It uh, has the uh, four-speed um, uh, four R110. God, I haven't even said that in so long. Our four-shock system, Dana 60 out of a 21 uh, F-Series. It's not really out of anything. They're brand new axles that we buy from Ford directly. Um, converted over uh, it's still running eight on six and a half wheels front and back 17 inches of course to get over the brake calipers um, this particular truck got sh converted to shift on the fly so that makes it kind of neat because now you don't have any shifters in between the seats um, pretty low mile this one was 50,000 miles on it and uh, really nice clean interior gorgeous truck picked it up for a song and a dance maybe a little generator in it um, water heater propane of course 110 fridge all that uh, got a place for the dual so it mounts the stock um, 17 inch dual right on the back again turns out to be pretty cool simple conversion for us we do them all the time but what's unique about it is these guys are waiting around for uh, a year or two for their sprinters and their transits to get converted both the interior and all and you can run out and pick up one of these old classics. You know, you can buy the thing, start camping in it right off the bat. You know, I mean, tomorrow morning you could camp in it. And then you can uh, go through and fix up a little things if you want. New hot water heater, redo the bed, mattresses. All the stuff you wouldn't have to do on a transit that had nothing in it, you can already start over again. And start on something that's already dependable, running. Great ground clearance, you know, better than a transit or a sprinter ever could have. And dependability of the V10's been around forever. That uh, 4R100 is a great transmission. Not as good as the Torx Shift 5 speed, I think, or the new 6 speed in the new truck that we have in the shop right now. But you can pick up one of these um, pretty reasonable. I see them on that RV.net and Truck Trader and RV Trader all the time. You know, 30 grand, 40 grand. Hell, that's the price of a new transit. You haven't got it converted to four wheel drive yet, don't have any interior. No, it's just kind of a neat old thing. Plus, they're just classic. And the fact that this gentleman bought this thing for what he did, he's got about 20 grand into the four-wheel drive with the shift on the fly, the wheels, um, some other little things we did on this truck. And this truck's probably 80, 85, maybe even a little bit more with the miles on it out in the world for resale. So, you know, something to think about. Maybe a business opportunity for those people that are so well, um, you know, foresight 
that they can uh, envision, you know, taking something two wheel drive, turn it into four wheel drive and a profit on it. But, you know, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of opportunities out there. It's a video. Oh, it's a video, hi.